Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Dan Richard Fishing. This is another video. Today we are doing tackle tips. We're going to talk about the improved clinch knot. And then once we learn the clinch knot, I'm going to show you how I use the clinch knot in my super secret swim bait setup that I love to use, especially in the spring because it's just got so much versatility in its retrieve, so it's just an awesome setup. So, we're gonna start with the clinch knot and then stick around afterwards. We are then gonna talk about my super secret bait setup, which is not gonna be a secret for very long, apparently. And as always, I will have chapters set up on the timeline below so you can skip the parts of the video and any products, things we talk about, you can find links to all of those things in the description below, okay? So go check it out. We're also gonna talk about why I prefer the clinch knot for this setup versus, say, a Palomar knot. It's also a great versatile knot. It's cool to use it for all kinds of different for things. I don't use it that much, but I do use it for this particular setup. And when we go to create the bait, I'll explain exactly why. And now we can get to tying. Oh, not so fast. Did you hit that like button? Make sure you hit the like button before we move on. Make sure you're subscribed, bell notifications, all that kind of stuff. Okay. You got it. Okay. Now we can go. All right, let's get to tying. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and thread our fluorocarbon through. I'm using the 20 pound test and uh, go ahead and give yourself some tag end and you're going to want to pinch off a loop just like that. And you can see I've got a little bit of tag here. I've got about six inches of tag. And then we're gonna wrap the tag around the main line about five times. The thinner the line, the more you might wanna wrap it, but four or five times should be enough. There we go. <clears throat> all right, so now we've got that all wrapped. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the tag through the front of the loop, like so. All right, so we've got it going through the front of the loop and then from the back towards the front of that big loop, okay? So this is what it looks like. You guys can see that, okay? Now you're gonna pull the tag out just a little bit like that to tighten it up, but when we go to cinch this knot down, we're not gonna pull on the tag. We're gonna pull on the main line and on the hook portion here. So what I like to do is I like to actually hold this in my teeth and hold it so that there's no slack and then put tension on the main line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put that in my mouth like so. And then I'm just going to pull. Now you also want to make sure that you moisten the knot. Then you can continue to tighten it up while you've got the tag end uh, in your mouth. You want to go ahead and pull that nice and tight. And then you can go ahead and cut your tag end off. And there is your clinch knot. So you can tell the clinch knot is properly tied when all of your loops are stacked on top of each other and they aren't all overlapping and making a mess. So as long as your loops are stacked and your tag end is coming out in the middle or like the second loop, you've tied it properly. Okay guys, we are now at the super secret bait time. We're gonna talk about tying up my absolute favorite skirted swim bait setup. Okay, so check this out. We're gonna need some fluorocarbon. So I've got some blue label here. This is actually overkill. I usually use 20 pound, but it's just so you can see what I'm tying. I've got the heavy duty stuff. I got the pike leader here. And you're gonna need some EWG hooks like this. I use the Gamakatsu Superline ones. They're extra thick. So these guys can really take a hard hook set and won't bend when I've got that drag cinch down. These are four aught size. Next up, we need a skirted tungsten jig head like this. So this is actually from the Heavy Metal series available uh, from Carl's Bait. And it is a tungsten jig head with the skirt already built in. You can get these in a bunch of colors. Love these, I got a tackle box full of these. And then you're gonna need a pack of your favorite paddle tail swim baits. And in this case, I use the Z-Man grass kickers. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that my favorite color is the deal. And last but not least, you need some little bobber stoppers like these guys. You can get these off of Amazon by the packs of like 500. And these are bobber stoppers. We're going to need two of them. Okay, that's everything. So let's go back to the desk and tie it up and I'll show you how it's done. First thing we need to do is put on our bobber stoppers. Okay, so this will stop the tungsten jig head from sliding all over the place. We don't want the punching rig moving up and down the line. We want it to stay in place. So the way these work is the bobber stoppers, the rubber bobber stoppers are on these little metal loops. So you just put the metal loop through like this and then pull the bobber stopper on and you just thread it on like that. Pretty easy, right? So we're actually going to put two of these on because uh, when I'm throwing around a one ounce jig head, I really don't want it moving around. So there you go. We got two of them on there. So we're going to move those down the line and get them out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and thread on our jig. 
So of course you want to make sure you put that in nose first. And there you go, that's on there now. So again, we're going to slide that all the way to the end, get that out of the way. All right, let's tie this knot one more time. So we're going to go ahead and put it through, give yourself about six inches of tag, pinch a loop like so, pinch off your loop, go ahead and wrap the tag around the line four or five times. There you go. Then we go ahead and put our tag end through the front of the loop like so. And then from back to front on the big loop. And we're going to go ahead and moisten the knot and pull it tight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull it nice and tight here. There we go. That looks perfect. Go ahead and cut my tag end off. You can see how the loops are stacked one on top of each other. Nice and clean knot. And then go ahead and grab your favorite paddle tail swim bait. And let's go ahead and put this on. And I really love these Elastecs because they just last absolutely forever. And the little the hooks get cut. There we go. All right, we got it. Instead of trying to expose it, it's got this little fin here. That's why I love these. And again, super durable. If you've never seen these things, they just last forever. So there's that. All right. So you can see hidden hook, weedless setup. Now we can go ahead and grab our bobber stoppers and just slide everything down all the way to the end. And voila, you have this awesome skirted bait. Check that out. And this thing is just devastating. Smallies, largies, walleye, they all absolutely devour this. And pike, of course, absolutely love this. So let's talk about why I love this setup so much and why I use a clinch knot instead of the polymer knot. There's our setup, guys. Looking pretty cool. So let's talk about what it is that I love about this rig so much. So one is the fact that I can retrieve this so many different ways. So I can just steady retrieve it through the water column at desired depths, just change the weight to what I want. It does super well in high current, also something that I really like. In the spring, when the fish are really lethargic, I don't have to worry about speed. I could just literally just bring it in, let it fall down, jig it back up, or just slow roll it and tick it off weeds and dead cattails and all kinds of stuff. So you can really vary the retrieve speed with it as well as your cadence. So you can, like I said, you can just work it as a jig, slowly pop it off the bottom. The other thing that I really like about it is the added flare. So you get a lot of reaction strikes with the skirt. So what I like to do is, when, well, when this hits the bottom, like so, the skirt will just flare out. That'll just, the fish will just hone in on it. Or if you slow retrieve it, and you've got a fish that's just following it along, like I've seen pike, just cruise along and follow it. And if you just stop and give it a little flicker, the entire skirt will just flare out like this, and the fish will just destroy it. In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a video on my channel where I'm fishing for pike with Guillaume and I told him every once in a while I'll just flare it out. He was using the chatterbait. I said, just give it a little, a little pause and a, and a flick and you'll see it'll flare out the skirt and it'll hit it. And he's like, like this? And he does it and a pike just absolutely annihilates him. So it does work 100%. So a very versatile bait that you can retrieve all kinds of ways and you can give it a little flicker here and there and that'll flare out the skirt and that just drives the fish absolutely nuts. So super, super useful. Love this setup. Now, why are we using the clinch knot instead of the polymer knot? So what happens is both of these knots, because this is an offset hook, not a straight shank, I can't use a snell knot where the knot is along the barrel of the hook. So this is on the eye. So what happens is, is this tungsten piece right here, this tungsten weight, it actually hits the eye of the hook and hits the knot. So a Palomar knot is not the strongest knot in the world, right? It's only got a couple of pieces over the eye. So when you've got that weight banging up against it, it can wear at the knot. And then one time you go to set it and guess what? Pow, off your fish comes. Whereas the clinch knot has several layers of protection around the knot. So it's just a much more durable knot when you know that this weight is potentially gonna be hitting against it. Another thing that I do, especially with Z-Man, is that because of this super durable elastic they use, I actually put the knot inside of the jig. So you can see I've got the swim bait completely over the knot. And we'll just see if we can zoom in here so you can see that. 
And you can see here that the knot is just completely buried inside. So again, it protects it. Now, a different kind of jig made out of a softer material like a saucy swimmer, um, that eye is gonna poke through real quick and your knot will be exposed. So clinch knot for this is really good because it's just a more durable knot from that weight hitting and that's why I love it. So guys, this is my swim bait setup. Absolutely love it. If the fish are looking for something a little bigger or a little slower, this is just an awesome part of your arsenal. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much. Now, uh, it is officially when you're watching this, or at least when I put this live, it was, it's a Thursday. In two days, so on Saturday, I am actually fishing my first ever tournament uh, ever, ever, ever that I actually fish in. So I've been to the FLW events and things like that as a marshal, but I've actually never fished in a tournament. It's something I want to do a long time. So Guillaume and I are going to be fishing. We're doing a pike tournament. It's best two per team lengthwise. So this is going to be very interesting. I'm looking super forward to this. I'm going to record as much as I can. It's this Saturday, however, the weather looks like it's gonna suck. So I don't know how I'm gonna film this. I will put a link in the description below. If you guys would like to follow my ladder, it's gonna be on, uh, I think it's, the app's called Fish Donkey. I'm actually gonna put up a link to the Fish Donkey website for our tournament page. So if you're registered on Fish Donkey, on the Fish Donkey app, you can go to the website and actually track uh, the scoreboard throughout the entire day, all right? So you can see how we're doing. There are 84 teams registered so far for the tournament. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck, guys. I uh, hope, hope we're gonna win some money or some prizes or something, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. And of course, I will have a video of the whole thing. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much again, as always, for all your support. It has been just amazing. So thank you. Uh, wish me luck, and I'll see you guys on the next video, which should be me winning at the Pike Tournament. We'll see you guys later, all right? Peace.